All right, so our speaker today is Lucille Vandenbroek from the Universitat Dominio. And Lucille will tell us about the relationship between the weak topological complexity and the TC Ganea conjecture, Lucille, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, Dan, John, for the invitation to speak in this uh, TC seminar. And um, hello, everybody. So yes, and this is a joint work with uh, Jose Calcines. Um, so first, uh, let me recall that uh, we can we can see the topological complexity and the category of uh, space X. So here, say a pass connected CW complex with a base point as a sectional category of a certain map. So for the topological complexity, this is a the sectional category of the diagonal map, and for the category, the sectional category of the inclusion of the base point, where uh, here the, uh, uh, the sectional category is to be understood uh, in an extended sense, I mean, for any map. So this is, uh, if we have a map from uh, A to Y, uh, this is a least integer K such that the, the target uh, y can be covered by k plus one open sets on each of which we have uh, a local homotopy section of uh, the map of it. Okay, and this is here in the normalized, this is a normalized version. So the category of Sn is one, Tc for spheres, as we know, is uh, depending on the dimension. So this is one when the dimension is odd, even uh, two when the dimension is even. And we have uh, in these settings, uh, the formula product uh, are this, are, have uh, this form. The category of uh, X cross Y is less than or equal to the sum of the categories and the same for the topological complexity. Okay, so um, uh, I will, uh, we will talk about the TC Ganea conjecture for um, the TC Ganea conjecture, which is, uh, of course, uh, just uh, a version of the classical Ganea conjecture for TC. So first, uh, let me recall about the classical Ganea conjecture, so which uh, uh, which refers to uh, actually to a problem posed by Ganea, uh, which asks if the category of uh, X cos SN uh, is equal is exactly the sum of the category, category of X plus category of SN, that is category of X plus one, okay? And uh, it was already known that uh, the category of the product is in general not equal to the category of, uh, of the sum of the categories, but uh, uh, remains the question of with a space where uh, there is no torsion in homology. So, uh, so this is uh, this question. And uh, yes, and uh, let me note that uh, there is uh, there are many familiar spaces which satisfies uh, uh, the, the, this uh, this equality category of x cross s n is equal to category of x plus one. We can see that with the cup lengths. So if we denote by uh, cup lengths C L of x the cup lengths of x, that is the cup lengths of the cohomology of x here with coefficient in a field k. So that is the maximal length of a non-trivial product in cohomology. So this is the lower bound for the category. So we will have that uh, the category of uh, x cos Sn is greater than or equal to, the, to this uh, cup length. And so since uh, the cohomology uh, of the product is just the tensor product of the cohomology, we can see that this is equal to the cup length of x plus one, okay? And on the other hand, the category of the product is less than or equal to the category of x plus one. So we can see that uh, if the cup length is equal to the category, so if uh, we have cup length equal to the category, then uh, we will have a chain of, uh, in, of uh, equalities, and in particular, the category of x cross Sn is equal to the category of x plus one, okay? So any space whose category is equal to the cup length satisfies uh, the the Ganea conjecture. But as is well known, so this has been a, a, a long standing uh, conjecture, and uh, as is well known, this has been uh, uh, disproved by uh, Ivazin, Rio Ivazin, uh, who proves that uh, there exist uh, some spaces 
for, for, for which the category of the product is cross SM is exactly the category of X and, and then different from the category of X plus one. So in the first paper, there was a family of uh, uh, counter examples, uh, which are uh, uh, two cell complexes and the sm smaller one in dimension was uh, of this form, S2 union, uh, a cell of dimension 10. Okay, and after, after the work of uh, Ivase, there were more uh, counter examples uh, constructed by Ivase, also by uh, Don Stanley. Uh, okay, and okay, and uh, let me note. Uh, okay, there was also a lot of work about uh, the, the Ghanaian conjecture directly after the result of Ivase and the, uh, in the year uh, uh, later. Uh, but let me note uh, two, uh, some positive results which were known uh, uh, before uh, Ivase's uh, first counter example. Uh, first, for uh, rational spaces by the work of uh, Barry Jessup and Catherine S. And the, this was using the invariant M MCAT, the module category. So this is a uh, lower bound for the category. And Jessup proved of, uh, uh, from a product formula for MCAT. And uh, Catherine S proved that uh, for rational spaces, the M category is equal to the category. So combining the, the two results, we add that the, the, category, the Ghanaian conjecture holds for any rational spaces. Okay. And there was also uh, some, some result about some classes of uh, manifolds and spaces by uh, Singhoff, Rudiak, Strom. Uh, these classes were uh, given in terms of uh, dimension and connectivity. And uh, let me note uh, this result by Strom, who used uh, the notion of a weak category. So uh, the, this uh, result says that uh, if X is a P minus one connected CW complex uh, with the dimension of X, which is uh, less than two uh, P times the category category of X plus one minus two, which means that the category is a maximal with respect to dimension and connectivity, then X satisfies the Ghanaian conjecture. So that means the category of X cross SN is equal to category of X plus one. Okay, and to obtain this uh, result, actually, uh, so Strom uh, uh, obtained uh, uh, some uh, uh, product formula also on condition with condition of a dimension and, and connectivity for the weak category. Uh, and then uh, use an argument to say that uh, in this range, we have that uh, the weak cat is equal to the category. Okay, so this was again, a, a bit the same strategy. Okay, and, uh, and we will uh, talk about the TC Ghanaian conjecture. And in our work with uh, Rosé, we will actually uh, obtain, we obtain a, a result a la Strom for a weak TC, which is uh, the first result uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, this work. Okay, so for the TC Ghanaian conjecture, obviously, okay, naturally the question is uh, if the uh, whether the TC of X cross SN is equal to the sum of the category of the topological complexity, and here this splits in two, two, two cases uh, equal to TC of X plus one when N is odd and uh, TC of X plus two when N is even. Okay, and uh, as said before, this. Uh, this inequality is always true. Okay, and uh, also we already know that uh, in general, the conjecture of this equality is not uh, true. Uh, with, uh, in a work with uh, Rezus and Mark on uh, option variant for the sectional category, we have uh, constructed the space for which uh, TC of X cos SN is equal to TC of X plus one for any N. Okay, so in particular, this uh, proves that uh, the, uh, this, equal this uh, equality here fails to be true uh, for N, uh, for an integer N, which is even. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, for rational spaces, let me note that uh, by the uh, result from uh, uh, Jessup, uh, Parent, Murillo, and also Karaskel, uh, we can say that the TC Ghanaian conjecture holds for rational spaces, but we do not know if it is for all. We, we know that it is for those who satisfies MTC is equal to TC because so we have 
what is known is a, a product formula for MTC, but uh, so far is missing a result à la S, à la Catherine S, which would say that MTC is equal to TC for any rational spaces, okay? So, and as said before, uh, in the, uh, today we will see some uh, sufficient condition for a space to satisfy the TC Ghanaian conjecture using the notion of uh, weak topological complexity and also weak category. So that I will recall now. Okay, so the weak category has been uh, introduced by Berstein and Hilton uh, using the white characterization of the category. So recall that, uh, uh, okay, we can consider the n plus one, the n plus one uh, full product of X and the subspace, the, this uh, subspace E, which is called the fat wedge, uh, which asks that uh, at least one component is at the base point. Okay, so this is the fat wedge and the characterization says that the category of X is less than or equal to N if and only if the N plus one diagonal map from X to X to the N plus one uh, lifts uh, into the fat wedge. Okay, so now suppose that we have we have such a, such a lifting, and we consider the uh, the quotient of the product by the fat wedge. Okay, so we go to the quotient. So this composite here is trivial. Then this means that this all composite is trivial. Okay, so homotopically trivial. So this means that this composite here is trivial. But now this space here. Uh, is exactly the smash product of n plus one copies of x. Okay, so this is a reduced diagonal. Okay, so if we have uh, a lifting of the diagonal, we will get that the necessarily the reduced diagonal is homotopically trivial. So this gives naturally uh, a lower bound for the for the for the category. Okay, so this is uh, what. Uh, Bastian and Hilton call the weak category. So this is the least integer of n such that the reduced diagonal is homotopically trivial. Okay, so this is a lower bound for the category. And this is greater than the curve length because, okay, uh, uh, if you if we think, uh, uh, so in cohomology, this will induce the cup product of n plus one uh, classes cohomology classes, okay? So if it is trivial, this, this uh, such product will be necessarily trivial. Okay, so we have a weak cat, which, which lies between the cup length and the category. And uh, as showed by Berstein and Hilton, uh, this inequality here can be strict. So this is a better, uh, in, in principle, a better um, uh, lower bound than the cup length. Closer, closer. I mean, okay. So, and uh, one example is the following: uh, S three union E seven, where alpha, the attentic map, is the generator of uh, P six of uh, S three, which is equal to Z mod twelve. Okay, and so here we can see that uh, the cup length uh, is one, uh, and uh, Bernstein and Hilton using uh, their theory of uh, of invariant. Uh, were able to prove that uh, the weak category and then also the category of this space uh, is two. Okay. Okay. So now for the weak topological complexity, uh, so we introduced with uh, Jose Calcines uh, so some years ago. Uh, first, we need uh, a white head characterization of uh, TC. So actually, we, we did uh, work on the weak sectional category for uh, any map. So, but uh, here, like uh, if uh, X is a CW complex, so we will need a, a fat wedge. And if X is a CW complex, the diagonal map is a co-fibration. And then we have a very, a very easy uh, description of uh, this, uh, very direct this, uh, description of uh, this uh, fat wedge which correspond actually to a construction given by uh, Agnès Faso, uh, and which is just, so this, is, this will be a subspace of the n plus one uh, 
a product, a full product of uh, x cross x, the target of the map. Okay, and we we ask that at least one component, which will be uh, here uh, a pair x x i y i, has to be in the image of the diagonal. Okay, so this means that we have, we should have x y is equal to y i for some i. Okay, so this is the fat wedge associated to the diagonal, to the diagonal map, and uh, we can prove that T C of x is less than or equal to n if and only if the this diagonal map as before lifts up to homotopy in this fat wedge. Okay, so naturally now we will take the quotient and we define the weak T C of x uh, to be the least integer n such that uh, this composite here is homotopically trivial. Okay, okay, and then to understand better that uh, it, it would be good to to understand better this this uh, space here. And uh, uh, so, first result was that we can express that uh, using uh, in terms of the cofiber of the diagonal map. So, if we consider this uh, the, the the fiber of the diagonal map so that I will denote. Uh, like that, or just like that, or where the space is clear. So, and the, the quotient in question here is just the n plus one smash, uh, the smash product of n plus one copies of the uh, of the cofiber. And this permitted us to to prove that uh, actually weak TC is equal is exactly the weak category of C delta. So, so we had these uh, two things are, which are equal as lower bound of TC and which are both, which are uh, greater than or equal to the cohomological lower bound. It's easy to see that uh, the, the, the curve length of the cofiber is equal to the zero, to the classical zero divisor curve length because uh, the cohomology of the, uh, of the, of the, of the cofiber is exactly the kernel of uh, the morphism induced by the diagonal map. Okay. Here I'm, uh, in cohomology coefficient with a, in a field. Okay, and so we have uh, this uh, global picture, say, and once again, the example we have seen before uh, permits to see that uh, this inequality here can be strict. Uh, so we can easily see that uh, the, uh, the cohomological lower bound are, are equal to two, and uh, with a uh, not so easy calculation, uh, a long, uh, uh, argument uh, in this work with uh, Jose, we have seen that uh, weak TC uh, of this space and also TC is equal to three. Okay, so but so the inequality is strict. Uh, actually, with the work we did with uh, Jesus and Mark with uh, option variant, uh, we can now give uh, an alternative argument and which extend to a larger class of uh, two cell complexes. I will. Uh, I will show you that uh, later. Okay, so, and uh, yes, also let me note that, uh, okay, when we, bon, when we see this uh, global picture, the natural question was uh, if TC of X is equal to the category of uh, C delta. And uh, okay, so with, uh, Rose, with Rose, we have proved that uh, this is true for uh, certain classes of spaces, uh, edge spaces, orientable surfaces, projective spaces, and spaces. Also with, uh, Jesus and Mark, uh, we have seen that uh, this is true for a large class of uh, two cell complexes, which are in the meta stable range. So with, uh, uh, okay, P and Q, which satisfy this inequality. But uh, Alexander Drashnishnikov proves that uh, this is not true in general. And uh, that uh, we can have that the category of uh, C delta uh, different from TC of X. And uh, actually for the non-orientable surfaces, uh, we have that the category of C delta is equal to three, while the uh, topological complexity is equal to four. Okay, so now uh, I come to the, to this uh, first result, which is uh, 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 a result a la Strom, say, uh, for the weak TC. So, which is, uh, which, which is, we say the following. If X is a P minus one connected CW complex, and if the dimension of X is less than or equal to P times the weak 
tc of x minus one, then for any integer n, uh, weak t the weak tc, the weak tc of uh, x cos sn is greater than or equal to weak tc of x plus one. Okay. So now, if we do the same, uh, okay. Um, should, okay. If we do the, the, the same as before, so this is less than or equal to Tc of x cos Sn, which is less than or equal to Tc of x plus Tc of Sn. If we restrict to n odd, this will be one, and then we will have uh, equalities as soon as weak Tc is equal to Tc. Okay, so we can say that uh, if weak Tc is equal to Tc, then Tc of x cos Sn is equal to Tc of x plus one for any in odd integer. Okay, so for establishing this theorem, obviously the, uh, the strategy was, was similar to, to the one of uh, Strom, uh, but uh, using that the weak Tc is equal to the weak cat of the cofiber, and we used uh, two more specific results. One we, uh, we established uh, some years ago that the cofiber of the of the sphere Sn uh, is uh, homotopically equivalent to this uh, two-cell complex, Sn with a cell of dimension 2n with this attached along the, the whitehead product of the identity of the sphere. Uh, and, and then also uh, this, uh, this result here, which says that, uh, okay, so we can, we can construct from the projection on the two factors, uh, we can uh, construct uh, this map, this uh, projection, say, okay, uh, for the cofiber of the product to the product of the cofiber. And we can see that this admits a section after suspension, okay, after suspension. So now let me sketch uh, uh, the, the argument for uh, this uh, inequality. Uh, okay, so first, suppose that uh, weak Tc, so which is a weak category of uh, C delta, is equal to K, okay? So this means that uh, this map here, this reduce, the K reduce diagonal is not trivial, because if it was trivial, uh, weak Tc would be less than K, less than or equal to K minus one, okay? So this is not trivial. And now with the condition of the dimension we have in the statement, which uh, can, we can be formulated like that, dimension of x less than or equal to p k minus one, uh, we can see that uh, this map, okay, here the, 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 the dimension of that is just two times the dimension of x and the connective, using the, connect, the connectivity of this space, we can see that this map is stable. Okay, so to say that this is not trivial is the same to say that this is not stably, this is stably non-trivial. Okay, uh, now, now what we want is to analyze the k plus one reduced diagonal of the uh, C delta of x cos x. Okay, and, uh, and here the, 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 the uh, the smash product of k plus one factors, I can write it like that. And we will project on x, essentially we will project on x in the k first uh, factors and on Sn on the last one, for the last one, okay? And, okay, and now let me say the following that, uh, uh, okay, so first maybe, uh, we can see that this composite is exactly the same as uh, this composite here, where pi is the, the, the map we have seen before. Here, this is the projection from the product and the smash product. And here, this is so the k uh, reduced diagonal of C delta of x, okay, and the identity in C delta of Sn. Okay. And now, so what we what we want is to see that this is not trivial. So, but if this is trivial, this composite is trivial. So it is sufficient to see that this composite here is not trivial. 
okay? And uh, this is sufficient to see that this is not trivial after suspension. Okay, so I will suspend everything. Okay, so we want to see that this is not trivial. Okay, but now we have here a section. So here we have a, a section uh, from, okay. Uh, and here by the lemma before, we also have a, a section, okay, a motopy section. Then uh, uh, okay, so we want to see that uh, if it was trivial, then using this section, we will have that this map here would be trivial. Okay, so it is sufficient to see that this map here is not trivial. So we, we reduce the problem to this map here. Okay, and the stably non trivial so after suspension. Okay, and now here in this smash product, I can put the, uh, the suspension here. Okay, and since that this was a, a, a cell with a, a, an, an attaching map, which was a whitehead product, after suspension, this is just a wedge. So this is just equivalent to, to that, to 2n plus 1. Okay, so essentially this map here is just given by two suspension of this map, which is not trivial by the hypothesis, stably trivial by the hypothesis. Okay, and then we can conclude that uh, this map here is not uh, trivial. And then that uh, the weak category of uh, the cofiber of uh, X cross SN and then the weak TC of X cross SN is greater than or equal to K plus one. Okay, so this was, uh, this is uh, the proof. This was the proof. Okay, and uh, now, uh, as a first example, if we look at the example we have seen before, S3 union uh, is even. So as I said before, we know that the weak TC is equal to TC is equal to three. Uh, here the P, the, uh, the P is equal to three. So we have that the dimension satisfies the condition. And then we can conclude that for any uh, integer, odd integer, we have that TC of X cross SN is equal to TC of X plus one. Okay, and uh, but as I said before, um, uh, using the result um, uh, with uh, Resus and, and Mark on uh, op invariant, uh, we can we can describe a more general class of examples. Uh, so let me recall that uh, if um, we consider alpha a map from SQ to SP, okay, with uh, this condition E, uh, we want to to study the two cell uh, complex. SP union AK plus one along alpha, okay? And the, the Berstein Hilton of invariant, which has been introduced by uh, Berstein and Hilton, H of alpha, of uh, this map alpha, is the homotopy class in this uh, homotopy group. So this is uh, the homotopy class of a map from SQ to this uh, join, which is equivalent, homotopy equivalent to a wedge of spheres which uh, start with a bottom sphere, S2P minus one, and then S3P minus two, uh, and so on. Okay, and the result of uh, Bastian and Todd says that the category of uh, this uh, space is equal to one if and only if the op invariant is zero. Okay, and, uh, and we can observe that uh, when uh, Q is less than 3P minus two, uh, then uh, H of alpha, this class will be stable and will be completely determined by the projection of the bottom sphere because we are uh, below this, this uh, dimension here, okay? So this will be completely, the off invariant in this case is completely determined by the projection on the bottom sphere, which, I'll de which we denote by H zero of alpha. Okay, and now we can, uh, can state the following uh, results that uh, if X is a such two cell complex, two cell complex, such that K is uh, greater than two P minus one, less than three P minus two. And uh, on this condition, so uh, the, 
the edge zero of alpha is not zero, so the category of X will be two, okay? Uh, but not, not only that, but also multiplied by uh, this number F here, two plus minus one uh, to the power P, okay? If this, uh, if, if this is not zero, then uh, we can say that the weak TC of X is greater than or equal to three, and uh, weak TC of X is equal to TC of X. Here, two, val two values are possible, three or four, and but in any case, they are equal, okay? Actually, in the work with uh, Rezus and Mark, uh, under this condition, we could prove that, uh, we have proved that the TC of X is equal to three, okay? Uh, but here, uh, okay, using uh, some argument, some uh, further argument, we could see that the weak TC is, equal, uh, uh, is also greater than equal to three. Okay, and uh, in this condition, we will have that for uh, these spaces that for any integer, odd integer, TC of X cross SN is equal to TC of X plus TC of SN. Okay, so as I said, this is uh, using a result from uh, the work with uh, uh, Mark and Rezus. Uh, and also diagrams of uh, these forms, uh, which are well known and which are uh, Diagram which permits to, um, to, 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 to decompose the reduced diagonal of uh, such a space in terms of uh, the crude Hopf invariant, which has been introduced by uh, Bergen and Hilton to, to study precisely the weak category. Okay, so, so we use that in this, uh, in this argument here. And, and also, uh, we, can, we will use that, uh, this diagram to, to analyze uh, um, the, the case when, uh, n is, uh, when n is even. So I, what I mean is that uh, in this formula, okay this, was, okay, this was before. In this formula here, when n is uh, even, we would like to have a two instead of one here. To, to be able to, to do some, to, to say something, okay? And, uh, okay, now if we write this diagram here for the C delta of Sn, so which is uh, this uh, homotopically equivalent to this space, then here, what we will have here, this will, be, this will give a decomposition of uh, the reduced diagonal, and what we will have here is a Hopf invariant uh, the crude op invariant, but which will uh, coincide with the classical op invariant of uh, this whitehead product, and which is two. So, in terms of map, this means that we have this decomposition where here this is uh, two times the identity, a degree two map. Okay, and then analyzing the the even case. Uh, so, in this case, we would like to to analyze the K plus two diagonal, reduced diagonal map. So we will have one more factor and we will project as before the K first factor on X and the, the, the two last factor on C delta of SN, okay? And then using this diagram, we can reduce the, 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 the study of this map to this map here. So, reduced diagonal of C delta of X, smash product to two times the identity of uh, here, this, uh, this, which is uh, S2N, okay? Uh, so, so, and this is just the 2N, no, uh, the 2N uh, suspension of uh, the diagonal map, not exactly, multiplied by two. Okay, so this led naturally to consider variation of the weak category. So this is, a, okay, uh, so which would be the least integer K, such that the, not only the stable map is not trivial, but multiplied by two, it is not trivial. Okay, this uh, reduce the suspension two times the, uh, the, the, the stable class of the reduced diagonal. 
k plus one diagonal map. Okay, so this is what I will uh, here denote like that. Uh, two here for referring to this two and uh, sigma for referring to the suspension. Okay, so so this would be this uh, uh, invariant, which is obviously less than or equal to the weak category of uh, of X. Okay, and we can do the same for the TC. So the uh, introduce the sigma weak TC and which will be equal to the sigma weak category of C delta and both are uh, so lower bound for weak TC. Okay, and now using that, we can uh, have uh, an answer in the even cases, which is the following that uh, uh, as before, if we have uh, X a P minus one connected CW complex, uh, with the dimension which is less than or equal to p times this invariant minus one, then for any integer, even integer n, the weak Tc of x cross Sn is greater than or equal to this uh, sigma weak Tc of x plus two. Okay, so now again, if with the same play as before, uh, if uh, this is equal to Tc, then we have that for any n, Tc of x cross Sn is equal to Tc of x plus Tc of Sn. Okay, and now uh, using again the result on the off invariant, uh, we, can, we can describe uh, uh, a class of spaces uh, which will satisfy the complete equality for any n. So again, this is a two cell complex in the same condition as before, but now the first condition of, of uh, on the option variant will be multiplied by two. Okay, so we will ask that two times what we have seen before must be different from zero. And then in this condition, we can conclude that the, this uh, sigma weak TC is greater than or equal to three. Uh, Ah, yes, maybe let me let me just uh, come back here. Yes, if, if uh, this, this is equal to, to TC, then, okay, so this is uh, equal, we have the equality for N even, but also for N odd, because uh, uh, since sigma weak TC is lower, uh, is, uh, is lower than a weak TC, if they are equal, we will also have the weak TC equal to TC, and then the previous theorem also apply for the uh, odd cases, okay? And then we will get uh, equality for any N, okay? Okay, so I come back here. So in this case, we will have that uh, sigma weak TC uh, is greater than or equal to three, and then also the weak TC will be greater than or equal to three. Okay, and now if uh, either, okay, okay, this is, uh, okay. Okay, so here this is uh, uh, the, the square join of the op invariant, okay, multiplied by this number, four plus two uh, times minus one to, to the p. Uh, so if this is zero, either that or two times that is not zero, then we can conclude that uh, our invariant is equal to TC, and then we will have the equality for any N, okay? And so let me, let me note that here. In these cases, uh, with the, by the work of, uh, uh, by the work of, um, with uh, Rezus and Mark, uh, we could say that TC is less than or equal to three. So this is direct in these cases. In these cases, this is derived, we will have that uh, sigma weak TC will be equal to TC, okay? But uh, when it is not zero, TC will be four, but we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, deduce immediately that the sigma weak TC will be also equal to four, okay? And then uh, to, 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 to guarantee that, we need to multiply once again, our, option, our condition here by two, okay? So, and finally, 
to give an example, a concrete example uh, of a space uh, which satisfies that. So we can, uh, con we can consider a space like that as uh, the sphere uh, of dimension eight with a cell of dimension uh, uh, 19. So the map here is just uh, to, to, so this is a map from S, okay, which uh, can be decomposed like that. This is here a map, a stable map, this one, and then an op map. Op map, uh, okay, which goes to S8. And this map here is a generator of uh, P, so P, which is stable which is uh, equal to Z mod 24. And we take a generator of that, uh, and then uh, six times that will be not zero, okay, which uh, permits to satisfy this condition here, uh, but we will have that uh, uh, this uh, square join will be of uh, two torsion, and then will be uh, cancelled by this coefficient. So we will have that uh, the sigma weak Tc is equal to Tc equal to three, and but uh, this space will satisfy the complete uh, equality. Okay, so yes, that's all. Thanks. Thank you very much, Lucille. So uh, we have time for uh, questions or comments from the audience. I, I have a question, I think. Uh, so in, in the Strom's, re Strom's result, um, I think you said the assumption was that category was as large as possible mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. by dimension connectivity. But mm -hmm. it seems that in your result, um, it's much, the assumptions are much weaker because I, I expect to see like twice dimension of X there, but you just have dimension of X. So yes. what's going on there? Uh, yes, uh, and, and to, yeah, okay, I mark. <laughs> uh, 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 yes, 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 because this is um, the, the condition is given in terms of um, weak. Yes, the, the condition here. Uh, uh, the, the condition here is given to um, to to, to uh, as I as I as I showed in the proof to uh, to to guarantee that uh, this map uh, is stable. Okay. This map is stable. So this is. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Still, I, yes. I, well, I was uh, wondering. Um, so this these are uh, these are uh, results tell you that when you have an agreement between the TC and the weak TC or in the category. In the, between the category and the weak category, well, you then have the uh, corresponding Ghanaia conjecture. So I was wondering if there are examples where the Ghanaia conjecture holds either in the CAT or in the TC context, and the weak, some of these weak versions uh, of, of, what, of the factor X is actually smaller than the regular version. Oh, yes, 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 there is example like that for the category, because there is uh, some um, uh, over, um, uh, over um, um, sufficient condition for a space to satisfy the, the Ghanaian conjecture. And uh, for instance, th there was one with uh, a notion of uh, what is uh, called the, the Q category, 
uh, okay, this is maybe not a directly uh, a comparable with the, I don't remember exactly if it is, I think this is not directly uh, comparable with the weak category, but there is some example where uh, uh, Q, Q cat uh, is greater than the weak TC. And uh, as soon as we have a Q cat is equal to category, then the, uh, we have the, 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 the product formula. Okay, thank you. Mm. So um, I think, uh, yes, so, 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 so the answer is yes. I, I cannot tell you, give you uh, directly a, a space like that, but. Uh, I have a question as well. Um, hi, hi Lucy. So I'm thank you very much for this talk. Very nice result, very interesting. So you said uh, that most spaces satisfy the Ghanai conjecture. And my question is in this direction. So uh, is it true that if I take an arbitrary space and then, then take certain large power of it, then it will satisfy the Ghanai conjecture? Or even more specifically, I would say that for any space, uh, all sufficiently large powers will satisfy the Ghanai conjecture. Can mm. you um. true? Hmm. Um, well, I can uh, maybe, maybe, maybe because you can probably. Okay, I, I remember um, uh, a result by um, uh, Rudiak uh, who plays with um, uh, with a product um, like um, X cross uh, a product of several spheres and uh, and. Um, uh, playing with um, some of uh, this um, kind of uh, a condition of a dimension and, uh, and uh, connectivity to uh, uh, at some point to be able to have uh, the, the, uh, the sufficient condition. Do you see what I mean? Not exactly. No. Not exactly. So, if it is not exactly this condition, there, because there was a, a factor two, I think this was a, which were which were doing the things uh, working. But let me. Okay. So, okay. So you have a condition like that. Okay. And uh, with a connectivity a category and playing with. Uh, uh, I think that what um, Yuli did was um, uh, considering X cross S1 cross S1 cross S1 cross S1 uh, and that, and that uh, at, uh, with uh, a number sufficient of uh, cir circles, you, you can uh, attend this, uh, this kind, not exactly this one, but one, one which, uh, which were able to uh, to, to, to guarantee that the Canea conjecture uh, uh, is working. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and, then, and then you do. So maybe for the question you, you ask for uh, spaces and uh, taking the power of that, we can do, we can try to do so these things of... Uh, yeah. Uh, just a remark, uh, Rodak's idea works only for stable parallelizable manifolds. Yes. Need the orientation of a sphere spectrum. So, uh, but yeah, uh, so I doubt that it's true generally, but uh, his idea could work in some cases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, to, yes, the dimension, yes, I, okay, the, the, the dimension will, uh, will, uh, will become very big uh, with the, maybe this is more, because uh, in this uh, example by, um, in this result by uh, by Rudiak, uh, multiplying by S1 will um, uh, limit the dimension. Yes, maybe maybe this is not so. Okay. Okay. Thanks.
I'm going to stop the recording now, but people okay. are welcome to, to keep on asking questions. Okay.